Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Sunday. I hope your day is starting off great. And like I always say, I hope y'all had a fire-ass Saturday. There's nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. Y'all probably wondering why I'm even talking about this or why I chose this thumbnail. It's pretty simple. Straightforward. Very easy for people to understand that statement. There's nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. A lot of baby, I think we all can agree that when we going off on somebody, when we're taking the time to click a live or upload, and we fucking a nigga up or going after somebody, it's regurgitated shit. It's regurgitated information that, if you've been here, have heard before. It's nothing new. It's put out here to manipulate you people, those of you who clearly are out of the loop, to manipulate you people into thinking that what is being said is new information. It's never new, new information. We all can agree on that. It's regard to take fuck shit. But the reason why I'm making an emphasis on this thumbnail, there is nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend it's because this is where the information comes from. Manipulative women masquerading as friends. You know, we all take a huge gamble when we talk to people that we meet online. When we build things with people that we never really, we've never seen, touched. But we still build those relationships. Regardless, we let our we let our guard down. Everybody likes to think that when people come to you, there is no agenda to that. When people befriend you and talk to you as if they care about you and love you and are truly invested in building something with you. A manipulative woman masquerading as a friend, it's very easy for that type of female to do that. They prey on vulnerable people. They prey on people who have an issue with somebody that they have an issue with. And it's real easy for two women to get together and talk shit about a man or a woman that they clearly have an issue with. But on, there's two sides to that conversation. On one side, you may have that female that is clearly needing that, that listening ear. Just to listen, to vent. Thinking that what they're saying to this masquerading friend, their deepest, darkest feelings and thoughts about whatever it is that is going on in their life. And they choose to share that information. But, and then you have the other person on the other side that already knows in their, their venomous, manipulative mind what their agenda is. And that is to record you. And when you fall out, nine times out of ten, due to the actions of that manipulative, masquerading friend, then boom, Pandora's box is open. And we all know we're not children that wants us out there, it's out there. There's nothing you can do to take it back. We've seen it, heard it happen. Over and over and over again. There are venomous, manipulative women masquerading as friends. 
literally trying to tear up a family. Now it's tit for tat and eye for an eye, man eat man, dog eat dog, world. Fuck with me, I'ma fuck with you. Fuck over me, I'ma fuck over you. And I'ma do you worse than you did me. See, there is nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. We've heard it again and seen it over and over and over. It baffles me. But then, no, it doesn't. This is the world we live in. What is going on right now is the exact thing that is going on in that video, that upload I put up about social media and the damage, long-term damage that they can do to people all because of hate, manipulating, venomous women masquerading as friends. It's disgusting. The people that like to do this, the people who get their rocks off to go at people deliberately. But you're not just going at that person. Now, it's a whole family. There are children involved. Children involved. We all have kids, right? But like me, my children are adults. Nothing that I do or say on this fucked up ass YouTube will affect my children. My children are solid. My husband and I have been together for 28 years, man. The ups and downs, the ins and outs, the surgeries, the pulling of all my teeth, the, the fluctuating weight loss, the depression, the in and out of mental institutions. My husband has been 100. Really a man who stands ten toes down. The love of my life and my best fucking friend. My husband would never talk to any fuck nigga or bitches off of YouTube. Nor would he talk to anybody who claims to be who they are and to give you people any type of information on me. Even I was threatened by drop. Supposedly issues within my marriage. There was never any issues in my marriage. But that is the game that you fuckers play. Ain't nobody on here gonna tell me about my motherfucking marriage, huh? <laughs> We've seen how motherfuckers treat their spouses on this motherfucker. Sorry ass, low life ass motherfuckers. But at the end of the day, we got to learn how to protect ourselves. We're grown. Anything comes out on anybody that has been said amongst people and one that is venomous, manipulating, masquerading as a friend, and it comes out to the fucking masses, you ain't got nobody to blame. But your fucking self. I've learned my lesson. Damn, y'all. Y'all need to learn yours.
This is elementary type of shit. Childish shit. Grown ass motherfuckers. Everybody is fucked up. Everybody is fucked up. But I can stand on my hot, my soapbox and say, huh, never. Will I resort to deliberately trying to break up a family and tear, ch tear children away from their parents? All I can hope and pray is that this marriage that you people are trying to destroy is strong enough to withhold and with to is strong enough to not let this fuck shit break them. I'm thinking about going live tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the then and this manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. I think that's a great topic because that is something we all we all should be able to relate to. I'm trying, just like everybody else, to rebuild something here. I don't like hearing none of this fuck shit. If this, <clears throat> I would be on hunted. When motherfuckers talk about people that I don't fuck with, that I don't really fucking care about, it is what it is. I'm not going to say, oh, that's fucked up that you did. That's it. I don't give a fuck. I think you deserve everything you get. But when is it only YouTube? Because it's never been only YouTube. And just keep it YouTube. It's never been that way. Because just keeping it YouTube doesn't get the click and views. But people going after someone to deliberately try to tear down what they have no clue what the fuck is going on in anybody's home. That's what y'all do. And that's how y'all get those clicking views. But let's take it away from the channel holder for a minute. And I'm going to come at you subs. Is that something that y'all enjoy? The tearing down of mothers. The tearing down of fathers. The tearing down of children. The all out fuck nigga and bitch shit that's done every single day. Am I preaching? Nope. I'm just telling it the way it fucking is. See, I don't choose to listen to that. But unfortunately, if I'm going to speak on it, I got to. What's that cliche, two wrongs don't make a right? Hmm, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't live through the words of quotes. Y'all some foul people, man. Y'all foul. Y'all foul. And you give your time and energy to that type of bullshit. But instead of going on a platform and saying what you're going to do, just do it. No one needs to know what you're going to do. There is nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. Remember that. Remember that the next time you guys feel like you want to call a YouTuber to air out your feelings, to vent, to talk, because you feel like you have someone there that is really, truly going to listen to you and not worry about when they get mad. And blast you with everything that has come out of your mouth. If y'all don't have that type of person in your life, you better get a fucking journal. 
You better write that shit the fuck down and internalize it and keep it to yourself. And if it's really bothering you, no matter what it is that you want to talk about, you get on here and you talk about it. But I will say this before I end for the day. Subs. Supporters. YouTubers get on here to entertain y'all. That's the ultimate goal. Is to entertain you. Most want to just entertain you. Me, I will bore the fuck out of you. I'm not here for entertainment. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not a clown. I'm here to help. But there is nothing more venomous than a manipulative woman masquerading as a friend. Remember that, y'all. And for subs, supporters, who are thinking about maybe starting a YouTube, y'all do that. Don't let anybody intimidate you for fear of putting you up on a wall. Fuck a wall. Fuck a picture. A picture is just that. Don't let anybody make you feel intimidated to voice your opinions because we need more of you to do that. We need more of you. You guys make this community. It's not us. It's not the channel holders that make the community. It's the people that keep coming back. But don't let anybody stop you from speaking. But when you do, make sure it's true. Make sure, sure it's facts. And if it's just your opinion, make sure people know it's just your opinion. Enjoy y'all Sunday. Peace.